My artist name is Mr Penfold, uh, real name Tim Gresham. Uh, originally from Cambridge, uh, moved to Bristol like four years ago or something like that. I can't, can't lose track. Um, I'm a painter and designer or whatever, just make images for whatever, whenever. When I was like, oof, like 11, I kind of, that's when I started to really notice graffiti and like the whole hip hop scene and stuff like that. Having three older brothers, they were into it, so I kind of got drawn in by them. I kind of joined like a b-boy crew. At the time it seemed so cool, now it's like the most cringy thing ever, like break dancing, like, yeah, it's horrible. Um, and just like graffiti, you get an alias. So um, my nickname at school was Penfold from Danger Man's because I wore glasses, tiny eyes. Like a mom. I remember that the point where we started getting noticed, um, there was one spot in Cambridge which was like the, was the grey area wall, you know, it wasn't quite illegal, it wasn't quite illegal. We used to paint there all the time and you used to get those dog walkers that used to come down. And um, this old man came past and was just like, oh I like what you kids are doing. You know, there's always like, loads of tags and horrible graffiti down there and you're painting like cool pictures of cartoon characters and stuff. And, and we're just like, um, but yeah, he was actually uh, one of like the sergeants, like police sergeants, and he um, he used to come past quite a lot. We ended up getting to know him, not knowing he was a copper. I just thought he was like some random old man. And he ended up speaking to the council and getting us some spots in Cambridge. When I went through a period, or I'm still going through it now, which is like really obsessed with the contrast between colour and texture, and that doesn't come from like sitting there racking your brain. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's, yeah, it's something visual that you observe and kind of goes into your work with. It's like uh, this pattern behind me that I've been doing for quite a while now came from being in America and buying the composition notebooks. These things were, and that's where they came from. It's from the cover of that. And then it's just from being in America and seeing these, and they're kind of quite iconic in America. And I was like, oh, I love that. How can I do that? And I had a really knackered old brush that when you stippled with it, it produced exactly the same thing. I was like, sick. And I've, and I've been using it for like two years now. It's the same brush. You can't use any other brushes. That's the only one that does it for me, you know?